Hello, welcome back. This is Phantom2502, and this is my Satisfactory Let's Play Episode 9. This episode, we are going to automate the reinforced iron plates. We have everything we need in our building materials, so let's get going. Uh, let's see, two biomass burners, so let's get some of this. And a little bit to fill everything up. Let's get that hooked up to our power grid. All right, uh, let's see. Power, uh, mass burner. I don't think I could fit anything over there. All right, let's put it up on the mountain then. One, two, and let's see, pull. One, Let's go to the other side. There we go. Connect onto that one. Give you 200. Give you 200. Give you. Max you back up. Max you up. Oh, that's a power pole. <laughs> Alright, everything's maxed up. And... Oh, it's just a hundred... Okay. Nothing left down there. Alright, we still got quite a few there. Alright, um, I think one thing we didn't put into the build queue, which we do need, is an assembler. Uh, we need some iron plate for that. Alright. Alright, let's see, is this the whole list? Oh, four rotors. Alright. Rotor, rotor, rotor. Where are you? Further down? Oh, all the way at the bottom. Alright. There we go. Okay, that should get us what we need. Alright, let's go put that assembler down first, and we'll try to figure it out. Alright. Assembler. Okay. Will it fit? Is the question. Very, very Forced iron plate. Where is that power pole? Ah, oh, there it is, that one. Alright, let's put it there then. Logistics. Can it just go underneath? That's what I'm kind of wondering right now. Ah, there we go. Oh, memory search complete. Oh, that's new that they brought that up. <laughs> that's funny. Right through the exit. <laughs> that's the kind of uh, little spaghetti stuff you're going to get with me. I don't care about that clipping. That works great. <laughs> Come right out the exit. Okay, that's funny. Alright. Let's get this done. Uh, need a splitter here. Alright. Back over there. 
I'm getting a merger here. Going that way. Whoa. Guess not that close. That work? Still in that work. Okay. See, I don't want it to be too close. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's try that again. A little closer. Closer work? Maybe there? The only thing is, will you be able to attach it? Alright, straight out of the ground. That's the way I like it. Alright, that one's gonna go... You know what, let's attach this in. There we go. And that one's gonna come. Right there. And go into that. There we go. And then that should be moving all my extras up to there. That's 20, 30. Everything that produces 60, so that should be good. So now it should just be moving this one up. Nah, I didn't think so. I wonder, maybe I can put one underneath. Uh, right here. Does that work? No, maybe. Looks like it almost can. There, I think we could do something like this. Now, we do want to keep the screw one in. So let's just go put the power poles in for now. Uh, we don't need the one down here, the one upstairs. One there, one there, one there, and one there. Let's just bring it, bring it in. Now we'll get the reinforced iron plates. Why isn't that going? Come all the way across. There we go. Good job. And that should get me my plates. Now we just need to do storage. In. There we go. And you are going to come down here. I guess we didn't make it this far yet. I'm guessing they put back the autosave because I don't think my game has been autosaving this entire time, or at least that's what I thought. Eh, it's not really taking too much out of it. We can do the autosave for now. Later in the game, though, it, you got to have them less often. 
Like, I think my uh, MIG, MIG base from update 3 was taking like 30 40 seconds to autosave. That's when it gets annoying when it's every 5 minutes. I put the autosave, I think, to like 30 minutes in that one. But I think, I think we're good for now. on their storage. And this is a good time to explain why I do storage like this. So I do storage like this so that, uh, at least initially, one, you get six storage bays. Two, you can grab anything from down here because this is, it'll go all the way up and then all the way down. But the good thing with this is if you have any extra you want to get rid of, as long as the thing's not all full, you can just go in here and just, you know, put extra screws in. So that way, if you know this one's all the way full, you know you don't have to try and jump for it or whatnot, and you know dispose of things on this side and grab things from that side. And it also allows you to walk all the way through and not have like uh, conveyors you're jumping the whole time because they go through up there. So that's why I end up doing uh, this kind of storage structure. All right. Uh, okay, we ended up removing our entire screw. All of our no screw production going into storage now, and I think we only have 20 plates. So we got to get some temporary increases on that from over here. Now, where are you? I know there's got to be a guy somewhere. Is it that guy, or is there two guys? Come here, doggy. Come here. Here, doggy. Here, doggy. Come on. Be a good boy. Oh. Oh, don't be mean. I just want to pet you. Well, he injured me more than I wanted, but. It's alright. Good. Oh. <laughs> Putting my miner down just trampled your dead body. Yeah, hey, you can still react to my. You're dead. Stay down. <laughs> All right. Good splitter for later. But we will be putting our steel in this region. Uh, I could be building the foundation uh, thing, put my steel over there, but we're still in the initial game. Um, put our steel here. Uh, once we get into oil and stuff, we'll move over to building a huge mega base off, off the mountain. Just conserving the resources for now. It's a lot of platforms otherwise. Alright. Um... Well, we, we might switch it up. Maybe we won't put steel in here. I don't know. We'll see. You know what? Might as well get that thing started. Come here, you. Smelters. to get to power these things, wouldn't it?
constructor. Structures. Do two more. Oops. Screws, screws, let's get the power going. There we go. Uh, these ones can be brought down to 30 each. Make it efficient on energy. All right, uh, that should be everything so that's be an extra 20 of those an extra 15 of those merger we want. And an extra six, 60 of these since we got rid of them. Now we're going to have to go underground. So let's keep it a little bit of distance. I'm going to connect it in. Oh, missing some. Alright, let's go get some more supplies. Just to increase uh, production we're doing this for, because um, basically down to like 20 plates a minute, which isn't too much. Oh, no screws producing, and with the next step, when we do rotors, we're going to eliminate the uh, rods as well, so this just builds, this is temporary, I'm not, I'm not going to keep this here all the time, but for now, that since we need these items and we're not producing them, this will give us an extra boost in the next point in the game. Alright, uh, now we need a bunch of mergers. Screws are in there. Uh, can we get something in here or not? I'm trying to get something in here. I don't know what, how I feel about that. What about anything in this part? Anything? <laughs> Alright, that works. For that one, and then... There. 
interesting. Alright. I think we can work with that. Let's get the screws going first. Get the rods going. Come on, rods, right there. And then the tricky part's gonna be plates. That I don't think I'm gonna be able to just put in. Maybe this side. Oh! Look at that! Sweet! Ah. Now that's some spaghetti. Right through the rock face. All right, that works for now. Um, I don't think we need our last constructor. We can get rid of that. I miscalculated that. All right, so that's that. Now, what about this? Anything else in here? Ma'am. All right. No, not yet. Color gun we could do, but let's wait till we get rotors automated and that way we're not manually constructing those things. Oh, this one we can do. Alright, let's get that done. Keep our ma'am working. Yes, ma'am. And equipment slot. Yeah, we can use that. Alright, so we've got some research in there going. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Alright, uh, let's see, what do we need next? We need to automate our rotors. So for that, we're going to need one more biomass burner, that's for sure. Um, two constructors. We do need more screws for that. And a one assembler. And that'll give us our rotors working. All right, let's see if we can get this going quickly. Actually, we don't. I don't think we need... Hold on. Got some leaves and some wood here. Let's get our rotors. And then for reinforced iron plates, we'll just take them out of storage. We're automating that now. We don't have to make that manually anymore. Oh. Is that it? Yeah, okay. Um, there we go. Let that automate. And do we have 12 of these? With 71. Alright. That's good. Plus, I think we do need some uh, level 2. Because I think we need 100 screws for that uh, rotor. So we're going to have to use our, some level 2 belts. Alright, rotor. Rotor set up. Alright, constructors. One there. Second one there. This gets eliminated. This turns into 100%. Um, and but we're going to switch it to iron rods, and that's going to go there now. So now we have 30 going to 10, 10, and 10. This is now going up to 100% as well, and this. needs a splitter. I'll give us that. And we need a merger. 
for everything out here. Be 20 there, 60, 100. Set up. All right. This can use a splitter. One item will go there. that one be for now. Also, I think we'll have that go in a different direction. Is that clip or not? Clips a little bit. I'm cool with that. I don't mind clipping. <laughs> I mean, I put a belt right through the other input of a machine. Okay, so that, that does 5, 10, 10 going into there, that's going to be good. Alright, we need a merger here, going that direction. Um, okay, that's not doing what I want. Come on, line up. No, line up with... with you. Alright, so that's 15, 20, and 100 of those. Oh, we do need power out here. Man research complete. I do like the nice warnings for the man research being complete. It's a nice heads up. That's new. Very good addition. Definitely have to fix these huge white things that I can't line these up manually, though for the mergers and splitters. Those are annoying. I mean, the black things, it's a graphical glitch. It's not the end of the world, but those white things are blinding. You can't see the guidelines. Now, that wasn't in update three. You know, here I have to leave a little bit of a gap. My rotors. There we go, rotors. We're going to have a level here. And into there. Then a level one belt going from there into there. And now we just need electricity for this. There we go. And that should be constructing things. Well, at least as soon as the screws come in. Oh. Well, that ain't good. Oh! <laughs> now, that's why I failed. You know, when you do your build strats, make sure you put your biomass burner in first. You know, pro tip. Right, see, I put biomass matter burner in my build, but I didn't do that first. I did it, I did it after everything. I gotta get all right let's let's go get that thing pull the fuse it's not the end of the world uh, 200 there we go max consumption 161 consumption 156 Seven, capacity 190. All right, we're good now. Just a little too much. So we just approach. We're just past 30 minute mark. So we're just going to finish doing storage. Um, I wonder. Will that reached up there. No, I think so. Alright, yeah, I was wondering if I could put 
like something up here on top of this. Be nice not to have to clip it though. Do it on this other side maybe? There we go, that looks that looks not too bad. That there we go. That gets me rotors. That over there. Yeah, this gets really tall, so we want to try to get our smart splitters, but the thing is, we, we actually can't do them too soon because we only really have um, level 2 belts, and we have a lot of stuff, like we have 60 screws at the moment, a lot of other things that... A lot more than 120 through here, so it's not like we can bring it down to 1 yet anyways, so... Maybe it helps a little bit, but we don't have to be super fast on I'm getting AI, AI limiters so we can get our smart splitters. But I'm definitely going to aim to try to get them as early as possible, especially... I, 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 not as early as possible, but as early as useful. But right now, I don't think I'd be spending too many bells or something. Belts, and I think it makes good sense. Alright, and then let's get some storage containers, and then we'll end the episode right after that. Our rotor. Let's try to get one more memory search and end the episode. Expand a tool belt. Tool belt has been expanded. All right, for the color gun, we'll just wait a little bit till we get some of those rotors in. Uh, let's get that with Caterium. Yeah, we're not there yet. We got to go make a. Oh, flower petals. Yeah, we definitely can do this. Good for rotors again. No, that that we don't even have. That we need a slug. And with more quartz we can do that. And that needs coal. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for uh, watching. This is Phantom Twenty Five O Two. This was my satisfactory Let's Play episode nine. This episode, uh, we were very productive. We automated our reinforced iron plates and our rotors and got some extra production in so that we have lots of items coming in for supply. Uh, next episode, come back and uh, we are going to work on automating our smart plating and copper sheets. Come back next time. This is Fan2502, and I'm out.